It's not over till the fat Tony sings. Welcome to today's Ratty.com Big 3 Talk in NASCAR racing with my friend Buck Beaver. I'm Bass Masters, Jerome Buzz Color. He watched the race with us yesterday. He's got the question stemming from the Pepsi Max 400 in California. It was the maxest of Pepsi. It was so max. It was max to the facts. It was the max daddy. Uh, speaking of max daddies, yeah. the guy who won, Tony Stewart, never won there before. I've just been terrible here. Uh, we've, we've had times when we've been good, but we, we've, I've really struggled as a driver here over the course of 12 years, but uh, it's just a very difficult place to get a hold of. As you said earlier today, Bass, he's the next contestant on Who Can Run With Jimmy Johnson. Yeah, come on down, Tony Stewart. Now, here's a guy with a proven talent level two championships, but think about it like this. Going for it on fuel at New Hampshire. How dumb does that look right now? The guy could have two chase wins already. Instead, he's like 100 points back. Yes, he has the talent to run with Jimmy at Charlotte. Yes, he has the talent to run pretty close to Jimmy in Martinsville and beyond. The problem is, Buck, Jimmy's he's always, got a long way to go. Jimmy's always going to come in third or fourth or fifth. I mean, it doesn't matter. You can beat him all you want. But you run with him, you're already 100 points behind. Jimmy has this thing locked up. He doesn't have it locked up. Pretty much. Well, okay, technically Here's speaking, what you have to do, Yeah, he Tony. has to, like, go to, go to New York instead of Talladega. Tony, don't, don't listen to him, okay? Locked run. Up. You just have to run with Jimmy. Mm -hmm. run, you know, beat him, beat him here and there, but basically run with him for the next few weeks. And if he has a problem, you'll be right there. You could pass him at Talladega if he wrecks and you win the race or come in second or third. You could pass him. You get all the way back past him. So you just got to run with him for the next few weeks and hope something bad happens. I'm sorry. That's the strategy. It could happen. But all Tony's right. got the talent level. That's my point. Last week was Greg Biffle. Oh, maybe he can do it. Along with the rest of his teammates, and that is issue number two, Roush Fenway Racing. Yeah. Highest finishing driver was Matt Kenseth, who finished 30th. What well, are you going to do? David Reagan, 32nd. Carl Edwards, 34th. Greg Biffle, 41st behind Landon Castle and Michael McDowell. Okay. Well, I mean, the guy blew up. It's like engine problem, distributor problem, engine problem, wreck. I mean, that's what happened to those four cars. I, it wasn't a speed issue for yeah. all of them. It was mechanical problems, but you you can't have them, and I, they had them, so I felt they're so, done. so bad for Jack Roush, just sitting up there going, what happened? What happened? What happened? I mean, his, his, his championship season just went, Phew. Well, and, and the thing that's interesting here to me is, say, Carl Edwards, and I would almost lump him in a category with uh, Jeff Gordon as guys that were going the consistency route. Well, we just be, we may not win a bunch of races, but we'll be mistake free. Well, they both made mistakes yesterday. Uh, Jeff was able to come back from his a little bit, tiny bit, uh, pretty well. Uh, Carl was not, and so I think that's it for him. Sorry, it's it, it's it for all of Roush. Bye bye. Yeah, I think that's that's true. Well, let's look at who it really is it for. I've got the standings in front of me. Uh, last week, I think there were nine guys with a hundred and one points. Yeah. This week, Tony Stewart in fifth is a hundred and seven back. Only three guys trail J Jimmy by less than a hundred points. Who is still in this? Is anybody still in this? Yeah, everyone back to Tony is in it. They're technically Tony. Everyone, you're yeah. saying Tony can make up 107 points in six races? Didn't, yes, didn't Tony Johnson can make up 107 points yeah. in six races if Jimmy has a problem. And I think that the benefit, the thing that happened to Tony yesterday that was so very good was he leapfrogged a bunch of guys, right? So he doesn't have to pass as many guys now because he was able to get it done at California. The consistent theme here is that Jimmy has to make a mistake. I think that is true. I mean, he's got to have think a that's giant poop But off. here's the other thing about the point standings, and the thing that really kind of gets me annoyed. If you look at Clint Boyer. And okay. here, here we have Scott Miller talking about okay. the 33 and where they go from here. Because we're really out of the running for the championship. You hate to say that, yeah. but you know, you got to be, you got to be realistic about it. So all we can do is go have fun and try to learn something for next year and try to win us another race. If you look at the end of this race, we had a late restart with what, 25 laps to go somewhere somewhere around there. Um, the line that you happen to be in, especially on these bigger tracks, is absolutely critical to your success. When you have two guys take two tires and get out front of the field, all of a sudden Clint Boyer is leading the race, who comes in the pits first and basically has the fastest pit stop of the guys who want four tires. He comes out, but he's no longer in control of the restart. He's forced, forced to the inside, as is Denny Hamlin. And these, so these guys are at a disadvantage coming to the final green flag of the day. And it hurt Clint Boyer, deprived him of a chance to win the race, and it hurt Denny Hamlin, lost a bunch more spots to Jimmy Johnson. These restart rules need to be examined, I think, so that each guy has a choice of where to go 
as you go down the line from first to last. It doesn't make sense to me that Clint Boyer does everything right and ends up at a disadvantage to Jimmy Johnson, the guy he beats out of the pits. It doesn't make sense. They need to think about this. It's just ridiculous. So you're, you're saying that, that each driver should be able to pick exactly where they want to Sure. Restart. The leader picks first row, inside or outside. The guy in second, if he wants to go behind the leader, knock yourself out. If you want to go next to the leader, great. Third guy, where do you want to go? Which line where do you want to go in? Pick your, you know, pick your poison. All right, that has been your Radio.com Big 3 for today. For Buck Fever, I'm Bassmasters. Come to Radio.com, weigh in on these issues and many, many more. And we'll see you next time on The Big 3. Radio.com. Say it like it is. Say what like it is. Radio.com. Radio.com.